All right, so I need to do something really quick. If I can. Um. Dang it. I'll have to do that later. Since um, Ashley and Caden, I think. Wait a minute. What kind of Ash armor does Ashley have? Uh, I'll have to figure that out later. I like to swap out um, Ashley's armor with someone else's just because I like holding on to it for a bit longer. We'll be replacing Ashley pretty quick. Um, and at the Citadel, there's going to be side quests out the wazoo, but I'm going to be doing most of the side quests a little bit differently, and we'll get to that when we get to it. But for now, let's go ahead and go talk to all the happy people up at the um, Citadel hearing. Welcome. The council. I don't know why I forgot to call them the council. All right. So here's the old school way of getting around the Citadel. Jumping in these cars. I'm not sure if that's... Uh... Wait a minute. Yeah, there we go. I'm not sure if that was how they did it in Mass Effect 2. I thought you just, yeah. like, teleported around. No, I used cars. All right. Hey! Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the council? Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. Enter the hard-boiled detective. Commander Shepard, Garrus Vicarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. You blew it! <laughs> uh, what did you find on him? Actually, yeah, what did you find Come on across him? anything I should know about? Saren's a specter. Most of his activities are classified. I couldn't find anything solid. But I know he's up to something. Like you humans say, I feel it in my gut. I think the council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. I doubt it. Alrighty, then. This place is really cool looking though. All these nice trees. Look at that little guy. Spider thing. You seen those before? Yeah, I know what they are. Cool. They're happy. We can still talk about them for like all the viewers he was if that's Come necessary. On. Like We'll get to it. Don't worry. Alright. There's a quest about them. The Geth attack oh. is a matter of some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker <laughs> is hardly <laughs> proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow Spectre and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. Yeah, just randomly throwing things at him is not going to help at all. I would like to mm. just ask for information. The mission to Eden Prime was top secret. The only way you could know about the beacon was if you were there. With Nihilus gone, his files passed on to me. I read the Eden Prime report. I was unimpressed. But what can you expect from a human? Does he have an alibi? You'll pay. Did I, anybody see him in the past, like, 12 hours? It, I, I'm pretty sure there's red tape just all over that. Yeah. You can expect me to kill you the next time. No! <laughs> and you, were, you didn't want to drop anything on him, and you just Please. suddenly did. You're not ready to join the council. You're not even ready to join the Might as well go for the throat. He has no right to say that. That's not his decision. That's not Shepherd's helping Udina. Shepard's into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor. And mine. <laughs> you arrogant bastard. You can't hide behind the Council forever. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. I didn't say anything Do about you it. Do anything else to add, Commander Shepard? 
No. You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Except for the, the evidence that was presented to us, to which we were ignoring. From the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. This meeting is adjourned. Humans are dumb. They could make up things. Probably saw Bunny Rabbit kill Nihilus. Rabbits are lethal. I saw a movie once where a rabbit killed people. It was a mistake bringing you yes. into that hearing, Captain. I have to. <laughs> you and Saren have too much history. It made the council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason: to exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. How do you know Saren? Tell me about this history between you and Saren. I worked with him on a mission a long time ago. Things went bad. Real bad. We shouldn't talk about this here, but I know what he's like, and he has to be stopped. So now what do we do? What's our next step? As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the Executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. I'll talk to him. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time with that loser. You won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. Don't be a dick. You can't just cut Captain Anderson out of this investigation. The Ambassador's right. I need to step aside. I had to say it, but I think he's I got a point. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. Uh, well, you don't want me to talk to him, so do you have any other leads? Maybe there's another way to find evidence against Saren. You should talk to Barla Vaughn over in the financial district. Rumor has it he's an agent for the Shadow Broker. The Shadow Broker? An information the dealer shadow broker. buys and sells secrets to the highest bidder. I've heard Balavan's one of the top representatives. He might know something about Saren, but his information won't come cheap. What about you and Saren? You and Saren have a history. What happened? About 20 years ago, I was part of a mission in the Skillian Verge. I thought he didn't I want to talk about that here. To find and remove and a left. terrorist threat. Oh, it's, yeah. Saren I understand that. Target, but a lot of people died along the way. Innocent people. And the official records just covered it all up. But I saw how he operates. No conscience. No hesitation. He'd kill a thousand innocent civilians to end a war without a second thought. So he's a scorched earth kind of guy. <sighs> so would I. Ew. Mm. Actually, yes, I would. Would you? Yeah, I would. Sometimes a thousand people must die so a million can live. But only if there's no other way. Saren doesn't even look for another option. He's twisted, broken. He likes the violence, the killing. It's like he's playing some and kind of video game. Tracks. <laughs> so would I. <laughs> <laughs> so <it> <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, I think, is there any more of these? Anything else you want to know about in here? Uh, Bar Levon? Yeah. Tell me about Bar Levon. He specializes in moving large sums of money without leaving a paper trail. A financial genius doesn't do anything illegal. But he knows all the loopholes. He's got an impressive client list. Ambassadors, diplomats, specters. That's probably why the Shadow Broker uses him. Okay. And then Shadow Broker? Tell me more about the Shadow Broker. He's a necessary evil of galactic politics. Buying and selling information is a part of the game. And the Shadow Broker just happens to be the best player on the field. Always sells to the highest bidder. Doesn't get involved in politics. Doesn't pick sides. A simple system, but it works. He's not a threat to anyone, not directly. Excuse me. He's just a resource we can use, or she is, or maybe they are. Nobody really knows. Hmm. All right. Um, anything else? Um, do you want to ask him about Harkin, or do we... He's an alcoholic, or he's just... Oh, no, he's just at the bar, so we... Yeah. No, yeah, he was drinking on the job, so he's probably an alcoholic. Yeah. Um, we can just tell him. Do we need to know anything else about him? Harkin. We can just the guy him. joined CSEC about 20 years ago. 
He's been an embarrassment to our species ever since. Yeah. Roughing up suspects in custody, bribery accusations, alcohol and drug use. The embassy used to step in when he got in trouble. But I guess enough was enough. Um, did they abandon him? I thought this embassy was supposed to help humans. Harkin may be human, but he's also an ass. <laughs> <laughs> if the embassy wasn't protecting him, he would have been fired 15 years ago. C-Sec is better off without him. Wow, Anderson. <laughs> well, uh um, I guess he really I guess this Harkin really was awful. Then why protect him? The guy's a scumbag. He should have been cut loose a long time ago. He was one of the first okay, yeah. out of yeah, But it looks yeah, like yeah. his time's run out. I We've should go. Good luck, Shepard. I'll be over in the ambassador's office if you need anything else. Alright. So we got stuff. Um, let's see. 